was good y'all so i'm about to break down the sample right now so let's get straight to it i start off with this pad in xenology the hollow pad in the ax collection and i made this midi with it right here So it's pretty repetitive, pretty simple, but I'm gonna break it down for y'all. I start off with this D minor chord right here. It's the D minor with the middle note being pitched up an octave. And then I also added an extra note here for the tension and to make it like sound darker. So without the bottom note, it sounds like this. And with the bottom note. And then for the second chord, I just went down four semitones. And same thing, I pitched it up. Uh, this one is a major instead of a minor. So I made it into a major chord and then pitched up the middle note. So now we got this little chord progression. And after that, I just added this top line melody. For the effects on the pad, I, did, I only added an EQ. This one right here took out the lows and boosted some of the mid highs right here. After that, I went to Serum and I went with this Keith find presets from the synthetic serum collection volume 3 and i just layered the first chords so not the second chord that goes down four semitones just the first chord with the double thing up here and here's what the preset sounds like and yeah that's fully the preset and uh, no port or anything added to it So all I added to it was also just an EQ. This one right here took out some of the highs and also the lows. So here's what they sound like together. After that, I went back to Xenology and I went with the AX Waspy lead, also in the AX collection. And I made this pattern with it. So it has like two sections, one in the pattern in the first half and then this one in the second half. So it adds some variation to the sample and it just makes it more interesting when something switches up here. But to make it more interesting, I added a portal and an EQ. I'm going to show you the EQ. But I added a portal to the lead and I went with the high preset in the distra number two. And I automated the portal so it only comes in in the second half. So here's what the, what the, what the lead sounds like now. It just adds a bunch of glitches and, you know, uh, sparkling effects and all that kind of stuff to the lead over here. And after that, I went back to another Xenology and this one is the Lurking Bass Factory preset. And I just followed the root notes. So that's everything for the first section of the sample. For the second section, I kept these two. I took out the lead and the automation, of course. I kept the bass and then I added this sound right here. which is a ARP from Serum, also from the Synthetic Serum Collection Volume 3. And then I just rendered it out because it was so CPU heavy. The effects I added on that was just an EQ right here, took out some of the highs. For the next part, I took out the bass right here and the Serum ARP and brought back these two. And then for the final part, I took out these, uh, kept the bass out and brought back the ARP again. And then I rendered out to an audio clip, the whole sample with the stems at the end as well. I added a, a compressor, a reverb, and finally an EQ that does nothing. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the breakdown hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and yeah i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video <laughs>